All right, we're going to look at chapter 21, which is process costing today. And process costing differs a little bit from our job costing. Um, but there are a lot of similarities that we have with it also. Um, some of the similarities are that we can still, um, are that we're still going to track we're using our same costing elements and that we're going to have direct materials, direct labor, as well as manufacturing overhead. Um, other th items that we have are the accumulation of the cost of materials, labor, and overhead will be done the same way in work in process accounts. Um, and then the cost flow is very, very similar um, because it is flowing through a raw materials inventory. Um, it does go to work in process and it does come out finished goods. Um, our differences that we will see in this is that where before we had um, raw materials and then we just had one work in process account, now we could have two or three or we could just really have different work in process accounts um, and then we could end up with what our finished goods are. Um, at any point in time, you know, we can send materials over really to um, any of um, these work in process accounts. We also are going to have direct labor and manufacturing overhead can go into these different accounts as well. Um, you won't have that for everything, but you will have that for some of these different accounts. Um, another item that we will have that's a little bit different is that when we move from one work in process account to another work in process account, um, you know, the first work in process will go to the second work in process. Um, let me change the color here so we can really see what I'm looking at. Um, would go into the second one, and then the third one would go here. When we end our work in processes, that is when, you know, we come down to um, this finished goods inventory account. Um, so they're very, very similar, but we do have a few differences here. Um, and as I said, one of the differences is the number of work and process accounts we have. The documents that we use to track cost, um, we're not going to be using a job cost sheet. We're going to be using production cost reports. Um, and the point when we total cost, if we're not totaling cost at the end of the job, we would actually be totaling cost um, for a time period. And then how we treat our unit cost computations um, are also going to be different. Um, so we are going to be looking at a process cost report, but this is really what we're looking at for the beginning of chapter 21.